Hiya cats and kittens, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you are new here. We are playing Adelant- Blah. We are playing Adolescent Santa Claus. Christmas Eve. I was in my room staring off into a distance. The room was a as plain as it gets. No noise, no color, not even smell. What's the big deal about Christmas anyways? Everything is so stagnant, nothing ever changes around here. I let out a deep and drawn out sigh. <sighs> now that I think of it, there was once a more innocent time when I used to believe in Santa Claus. Santa, will he ever come? He probably won't. I am no longer a kid after all. Phew! After lying outside, I roll over. Once I did so, there was... A girl! Santa, give me your gift! There was a kid version of Santa Claus. She suddenly popped out demanding a gift from me. That made me flinch a bit. Now hang on! Where did she even come from? Why wasn't she here a second ago? I don't know. Let's not think about it. Sorry, I don't have anything for you. I had absolutely no idea where she came from, but she seemed rather harmless and cute. You have nothing left? Yep, I got no money. Anything else? Well, I can't give you my computer, I can't give you my clothes, and I can't give you my books. They're my bare necessities, after all. You s still, don't you have something else to offer? Like what? Hopes and dreams. I got none of those either. Yeah, I figure. Sorry, you might want to try somebody better off. Hmm, she said, leering at me. I won't leave you until you give me a gift. Whatever, do what you want. Am I hallucinating? Or am I dreaming? The kid sent a joyous chuckle while she ran around me in a circle. Today is Christmas Eve. I couldn't even tell what's real or not anymore. To be honest, it didn't really matter. All that... All that was clear was that this cute kid Santa Claus won't, wasn't going to leave me alone. December 24th, Christmas Eve. I locked my door, and doing that made it seem like I sealed myself into a very own private world. A tranquil one that I won't be disturbed in. And all I needed to do was to close the door out of the lack of miracles expecting nothing. The only thing I need in the world is me. All I need in the world with a population of one, me. But, she got in again. Santa was still tirelessly orbiting around me. Just running around endlessly, she started to get on my nerves. She sat. For some reason, it feels like she'd give me her hand if I say paw to her. Let's not do that. So who exactly Santa. are you? Santa Claus. You're wearing a school uniform. Santa. Still Santa. I guess she's right. After all, I did realize that she was Santa right after seeing her. How was I able to do that? I'm not sure. But there are those times in life that you just want to forget about it all and do as your heart's desires, right? It's one of those days. Christmas Eve. The one time in the year where everyone just wants to forget about reality and live in their dreams. Weren't Santa's extinct? I managed to survive by wearing a school uniform. <clears throat> so that's how Santa started wearing a school uniform. How does it feel to be a cute girl? Feels like cosplay. Santa's depraved. No, no, I'm still Santa in heart, even if I wear a school uniform. And why are you taking the presents away? I thought Santa was supposed to be giving them. Withdrawing? Withdrawing? Mm. Yep, I'm taking back the things I gave away when everyone was little. Why? Since I loaned it to you. Loaned what? You know, hopes, dreams, future, that sort of stuff. Wait, you were lending those? Yep, I was going to take everything back with interest, but... But... Everyone went bankrupt. Ha <laughs> Santa was actually a loan shark. 
We were all being deceived. So basically, you're here to repossess the hopes and dreams you gave me when I was younger. Yep, and I'm going to take them back with interest to the very last penny. Sorry, I'm broke as well. Santa twitched as if she had taken a hit to her emotions. Twitch, twitch. That was kind of cute. There's a deadline. A deadline. The 24th and the 25th, so today and tomorrow. If I miss a deadline, I would have to return this uniform to its owner, and then Santa will go extinct. Uh-huh. Wait, what? Well, because Santa can only escape the danger of going extinct by wearing a school uniform and becoming a beautiful girl. That's not very easy to understand. Therefore, Santa looked as if she was playing to explain to me. Once the 25th passes, anything I do will be pointless. Why? Because today and tomorrow are meant to be the most fantastic days of all. Fantastic fest. Oh, jeez. So Santa has to collect her payment in full within the next two days, huh? Okay, so Santa's a loan shark. It's morning. Sun is rising, one of the most fantastic fall days. Sun rises like any other sun, sun, sunny day. Christmas Eve is a sunny day. Ah, uh, it's not fantastic at all. I'm guessing the sun is not too fond of the snow from the way he killed them all. It heated and melted them away. Poor snow. Sun tends to always be like that. Sunny places are always like that. Reality is always like that. Santa. What? Where's Rudolph? I grilled and ate. What? Tasted like tears. Tears? Santa was hungry, so she had to eat Rudolph. Santa was starving to the point where if she didn't eat her beloved Rudolph, she would have perished. This is not at all what I was expecting on this. How did it get to this? Well, since all the kids who received my loans went bankrupt, I am also broke. Oh. Rudolph, Rudolph. But it's fine. Rudolph's inside me now. We'll be together forever. How is Santa meant to go around without Rudolph? What else? Santa walks. You walk? I know Rudolph was able to fly, but just because I ate him doesn't mean I can fly now. Not even if I paint my nose red. We've decided to have a moment of silence for Rudolph. What do you plan to do? I'm going to make more hopes and dreams for the next 363 days, and with those, and with those, I'm going to distribute them all on the 24th and 25th. Santa is great. I see. Santa is great. I've fallen on hard times with the factory, though, so the factory is now a pile of debris. Why? Because the children who borrowed the hopes and dreams for us all file for bankruptcy together. Gimme, gimme. Sorry, but I don't have anything. The morning went by in sound noon. Afternoon. Ah, afternoon. I want to see the snow. With white snow, a white panoramic landscape, I want to see a beautiful white scenery. Go away, son. Let the snow fall. I'm hungry. Santa was starving. You're hungry? Rudolph is crying out that he's hungry from inside me. Rudolph, you're alive? I have ramen if you want. I don't like instant food. We could always starve. You're a bad debtor. A creditor forced with violence on the debtor. Ow. A knuckle to my forehead. One minute of recovery. I passed out. That's a relief. Hey, I wouldn't die from that. Impossible things could happen on a fantastic day. I can't afford to be careless on a fantastic day. Why did you start lighting hopes and dreams to kids? Well, I was selling them at first. You're selling them? Yep. For how much? Despair. If you sell your despair to us, we'll give you hope. How does that work as a business? I don't know or how, but it sure was popular. And then? But at some point, humans stopped selling it to us. They said they couldn't give it to us even if they wanted to. What do you mean? They hold on to it like a treasure but scream for help 
to separate them from it. That's why we started loaning hopes and dreams to them. Why did you lend it to them when you could just easily give them away? They tend to be thrown away if we give them to them for free. Oh. Threw it away too, you debtor. Ow. I unexpectedly strong, I nearly fell over. Anyway, so since you were throwing them away just to give them, start loaning them out instead. Yep, I plan to have them return with a lot of interest. But everybody went bank run. Give it back, give it back! Sorry, I got nothing. <laughs> it's now late in the afternoon. The sun had returned home. I gave Santa a cup of water. How is it? Ralph doesn't like it. You always think you can satisfy my hunger with just minerals, he says. Oh, Rudolph. You don't plan on being picky with what you eat in your current status, are you? What do you plan to do from now on? Since the whole thing about Lenny isn't working out, you should try something else. Can't you try to come up with a plan? I decided to contemplate for a moment. I don't know. Just when I thought the loan shark idea was good and original when I came up with it. You sure weren't just being greedy? You know, with the interest and all, it's a bit... You definitely, I swear, ten years ago, you definitely pinky promised that you would pay it back to me by a hundred times. No, a thousand times. We even went as far as to spit shaking on it. This Santa, no matter how I look at it, there is no denying that she has a deeply rooted sense of resentment. Give it back, give it back! You promised to give it back at a hundred and a thousand times its original worth, did you? Sorry, I lost it all, so I have nothing left. You could almost visual, visual, you could almost visually see Santa's heart sinking. Seriously, what am I supposed to do now? For the first time, Santa is showing some true sense of anxiety. Santa, we've wasted a day. Christmas Eve is almost over. Oh, here we go. It's gone. It's Christmas Day now. And we will save there and continue Christmas Day tomorrow. <laughs>